Okay, here we go. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel, Natalie Rea here and welcome to today's video. For today's video, I'm going to be eating an MRE for an entire week. This is military food, you guys. This is what soldiers eat whenever they're out in the field. These little guys, this entire package. There's so many items in this entire package, enough to get you full, including two drinks, a few snacks, and an entire meal. Before we continue, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below right now. Also, make sure you click that little notification bell button. It's right next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out from any of my upcoming new videos. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram, at Natalie Rea, that's how you can find me. Now, let's... Let's do this. For today, we're gonna to be having beef tacos. This is a menu six, the beef taco, MRE. I'm excited to get this open. I'm actually starving right now. All I have right here is my MRE water bottle and I brought a little mug. I think I got it. There we go. So let's go ahead and put everything out. We got some chicle, some orange beverage, creamer, coffee, salt, napkins, sugar. Okay, so obviously we're having the beef taco filling. It has all of the ingredients. Um, that's basically the first thing that I'm gonna start doing right now, just heating everything up. This right here is the Santa Fe rice and beans, so I feel like this definitely needs to be heated up. And then I'm guessing this is the beef so this is the beef taco filling. So those two are gonna go in the MRE heater. I'm also gonna try and squeeze in the water in there for the coffee this time. I'm doing about eight ounces. We have some recovery trail mix, and then we have the tortilla pouch first, and then the water. I definitely just ripped that. I don't know if that's gonna affect the heater. Um, let me try and put the Santa Fe rice and beans in there as well. Oh, yeah, this is not gonna work out. You know what, we're still doing this. This is probably wrong, but here it goes. How crazy that this is such a fail on the first day. Right now, let's go ahead and open the trail mix while we wait for our food to heat up. That actually looks good. Also, I'm not quite sure what to do with this just because it didn't fit in there and this was supposed to be my coffee water, so now it's cold. So now I'm guessing I'm not gonna have coffee. I don't know, maybe, I'll still think about it. Anyway, so here is the trail mix. I don't know, I'm not really someone who is into almonds or any type of nuts. Um, so I'm most likely going to be saving this for my husband But this right here is like such a good quantity You know what? I was actually looking forward to the coffee So I am going to be drinking it I'm just going to be drinking it cold Add the coffee The sugar And then the creamer Oh, this smells really good I guess what sucks is the water isn't warm, so the creamer doesn't really dissolve. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna put this to the side, maybe come back to it. But I am thirsty, so let's open the orange beverage. This is what I'll be drinking for the rest of the meal. I can still taste the powder, but it's good. Okay, so here goes the cheese spread, which is my favorite part. Yum. I'll try the tortillas now. There's usually about two tortillas. They're flour and they're about a medium size. Adding some cheese to our beef tacos. Okay, so let's go ahead and open these up. Okay, so that doesn't feel as bad. This one on the other hand still feels a little bit cold. The first thing that I'm gonna try is the beef taco filling. I think I would have been super disappointed if this was still cold but it is pretty warm. It doesn't really look bad. I mean, I feel like I've eaten something similar to this. Here we go. This kind of tastes like chili beans and beef. I actually, I'm digging this, I like this. I'm gonna open the Santa Fe rice and beans because this one is not as warm as the beef. I feel like I'm not gonna like this one. Why does this look like tuna, like spicy tuna? And it smells like nachos. I love nachos, but knowing that it's rice and beans. Mm. 
No, nine. So I guess I'm just gonna be putting the beef in the taco. Okay, I'm not gonna put that much just because I don't want it to be like dripping, but this is definitely enough for a third taco. Okay. I like this taco. I always dance when I'm eating, if you call that dancing. I feel like this didn't come with enough food, but I mean, it really did. I just didn't like the trail mix. I didn't like the rice and beans, like the Santa Fe ones. Like, honestly, this looks like spicy tuna to me. And when I bit into this, I was able to feel the rice grain, and I didn't like that. Like, it's not as soft. Um, so, yeah, that was, like, a huge pass for me on the rice and beans. But the taco, on the other hand, I like. I know that I'm able to use, like, my stove, my microwave, whatever, just to, like, heat everything up. But I'm not trying to go to that extent. Like, I'm just trying to eat an MRE the way that you're supposed to. All right, and I guess that was it. I think I want to give this, like, around a 5. Definitely looking forward to tomorrow's MRE. So, I will see you guys then. Here is menu three of this MRE. This is everything that we got. Obviously, we want to get started with heating up the main course, which is going to be the chicken and noodles right here. I think this time around, I'm going to skip the hot beverage bag. So I'm not going to be having any coffee today just because I could never get it to fit in here. So it's pretty much just a waste on making it just because I'm not going to drink it because it's cold. I'd rather just have it later nice and warm. Oh my goodness, we have sour Skittles. For some reason, I never thought that I would ever get something like this in an MRE. We have some orange powder base. So just about the same one that we got yesterday, except the one that we got yesterday was like a little small package. We got some peanut butter here. We have some hot sauce, napkins, spoon, and then, okay, this is interesting, mango peach applesauce. Ooh, the mango just like brought it up to another level. I'm excited to try this. And then we also have some crackers. Oh, one more, some strawberry jam. Okay, so this is perfect. Crackers, strawberry jam, and then some peanut butter. Definitely trying to be a lot more careful. And of course, I overfilled. So you wanna rub it in the bottom just a little bit to get it going and already it's doing its thing. Okay, so let's make our orange beverage. Okay, there's two crackers. That's even better. I should really be getting a plate. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this one inside. And then let me open the mango applesauce. It seems like there's a good amount. So let me put some peanut butter in the cracker. And then I'm gonna add some strawberry jam. We actually just ran out of peanut butter yesterday, so that's kind of interesting. Okay. Okay, this one's different from the one I had yesterday. I like the one I had yesterday better. And I'm going to try the mango peach applesauce. I feel like such a baby drinking from this. This is good. The next thing I'm gonna be trying is the sour Skittles. They kind of feel like they've been squished together. Okay, not bad. Oh, they're so hard. You guys, this is such a cute treat. Okay, so I am gonna start opening the noodles. It is crazy hot. It smells pretty good. Um, it doesn't look as good. A little chicken pot pie moment. And there's a lot too. I can see the noodles, I can see the chicken and all of the vegetables. Why am I so afraid to try this? Chicken is pretty hot. Okay. Because there's so many different things for you to eat um, in just an MRE package, like you can definitely get full out of all of these things. The hot sauce is what I was most excited for. I'm just gonna add everything. It smells like Tabasco sauce. Woo! That is spicy, but it made it a hundred times better. Mm. All right, now we're talking. Now I can see myself finishing this. I don't think there's a single thing that I didn't like. 
that is day two. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it's a new day, and today's MRE is gonna be menu 12. This is the elbow macaroni and tomato sauce. Sounds a little bit different from the last one. Um, I just got my water ready, so let's do this. Ooh, we got Skittles again. So right here we have our elbow macaroni and tomato sauce, which is gonna be like the main, main food. And then we also have mixed fruit. This one right here is the wheat snack bread. Okay, this one seems interesting and a lot different from all of the other drinks that I have gotten in an MRE. This is a chocolate protein drink powder. Ooh, I am excited to try this one. And then we have our cheese spread. I'm gonna try and warm it up with the food. Oh, we got some hot sauce over here. I almost missed that as well. Okay, just making sure I haven't missed anything. Obviously, this is a hot beverage bag that I'm not gonna be using, but let's get the heater started. Cheese spread as well. Ooh, I think I did good this time. And it's already warming up extremely fast. Do you guys see the smoke coming out? I love that. Okay. Out of all of these, the only thing that I'm using now is the gum. Oh, we got three. Oh, we got two and a half pieces. That's a first. Let's go ahead and do our chocolate powder drink. Okay, so that's just right about the line. I'm gonna close this. The mixed fruit. That looks good. Let's put that aside. Let's open the bread. Okay, there's only one. You know what? I kind of want this warm. I'm just gonna sneak this in here. And then obviously we have the Skittles. First thing I'm gonna try is the mixed fruit. This pretty much just tastes like regular canned fruit. It's not bad, but I think I would question the expiration date to this. Okay, and I'm trying the chocolate protein drink powder right now. It's freaking chocolatey, and I still see the powder. It's hard to see it. Oh, oh, I think you guys saw a little bit. I will not be drinking this. I like it, but it's a little too much. Okay, so now let's take out the elbow macaroni. Took out the bread and it warmed it up just a tiny bit. It's not bad. It is still really hot. I think for the first time ever, I like perfected this. Okay, so we got the elbow macaroni here and then I'm pretty sure I put the cheese in there which might have been a mistake. Oh my goodness, it's freaking melted. See, I've always wanted this warm, but it never fit in there. And for the first time it fit. You guys, it smells so freaking good. I feel like I'm gonna eat this all. <gasps> Should I just put the cheese in there? Look at this. For the first time ever, I did a good job on the heater and it actually made my food extremely hot. Okay. We got hot sauce. For a second I was like, okay, this needs to be a tiny bit spicy. And that's what this is for. I just, I just spilled the freaking hot sauce all over the floor. So now there's barely any left. <laughs> just putting it all. Oh, this is actually not bad. This looks so good. Oh. Okay, now I don't regret putting this in the heater. Look at how delicious this is. Yo, I love cheese. I'm glad all the MREs are different or else I would be struggling. I'm finishing this. I'm gonna add some bread. I think I'm good on the bread and I just wanna eat this alone. 
I like how different it is from like that being super hot and then this being cold. It's just like a perfect combo. Giving this MRE a thumbs up. Again, excited for tomorrow's MRE. So I will see you guys tomorrow. For today's MRE, we are trying the brisket. This is gravy with seasoned beef brisket. I'm so excited to try this one because it just sounds extremely different from all the other ones that I have had. So here we go, menu seven. Ooh, first thing I noticed is some Twizzlers. Another thing that I noticed is this Irish cream cappuccino instant powder. That's interesting. I didn't like the chocolate one. Um, I'm excited to try this one. Here we have our potatoes that definitely needs to be warmed up. We have some cranberries. They feel good. Also looking forward to this one. And then we also got this wheat snack bread. It feels like the one we had yesterday, so we'll check that one out. We got some strawberry jam, which we tried before. And then we got some peanut butter, which we also had, I believe, two days ago, except we had it in crackers. So this time we're going to be eating it with the wheat bread. Our heater, spoon, all of the small little accessories. Let's see if we have anything different. Napkins, those always come in handy. I never really use the salt. Oh, because we have the cream cappuccino, there isn't any instant coffee. Instead, we got this cranberry grape. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with this. Like, I'm in love with everything right now. Oh, and of course, can't forget the brisket gravy. Before we start opening everything else, we're gonna put these in the heater. I'm gonna do one by one, and I'm gonna put the brisket first, just because this is what I want to be the hottest. And this is the potatoes. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job to be fitting two. I think for the first time ever, I didn't spill any water while doing this. And then our grape. Oh, this smells incredibly good. Oh, I'm glad we got something different. So I'm just opening everything up and then I'll try everything in a little bit. We got the strawberry jam on deck and then we got the lovely peanut butter. I don't think I really cared for the bread to be warm. This time I'm going to try it just like this. Let's go ahead and add some peanut butter. And then we're gonna add some jam. First thing I'm trying is the bread with the peanut butter and strawberry jam. Two things. One, the bread actually tastes a lot better like this, so I'll never ever ever put it in the heater again. And then the second thing would be that the peanut butter and jam, jelly, whatever, tastes a hundred times better in the bread than it does in the crackers like that is a huge thumbs up for me i am now going to be trying the cranberry grape now that i think about it this is actually my favorite kind of cranberry juice like out of all of the flavors the cran grape is my favorite so chances are that i'm really gonna like this the water that i had in here was room temperature so i feel like it just made it average, but if it was to be cold water, this streak would be so fire. The next thing that I'm going to be trying is the cranberries. These are the dried cranberries. Let me show you guys what they look like. I don't really like the smell of them. It kind of smells like bird food. I'm almost 100% sure that I'm going to finish these in like the next 30 minutes. It just seems like such a healthy snack and there's so many, like it doesn't look like it, but it's like up to here. Next up, I'm going to be trying the Irish cappuccino. I love the smell of coffee. Oh, this smells so freaking good. I can't really see it just because there isn't a lot. I feel like the powder was like down to here, but the color is just... Can you guys see that? No, you guys probably can't. I don't want to spill, but let me try this. Oh, this is freaking fire. And you can either have this hot or cold. I had it cold, obviously. Like, it is a straight up cappuccino in here. And it just it smells good and it tastes super good. I freaking love this. I'm just gonna get one last bite before I go into the beef brisket. 
this right here is enough to get you full like I, every bite that i take i already feel it just because of the bread it is a full-on peanut butter and jelly sandwich all right guys and i think i'm ready for the brisket i'm gonna start off with the potatoes i just have a feeling that i'm not gonna like these so i kind of just want to get it out of the way the more i smell it the more i like it just because of the freaking cheese okay here we go Ooh. Nine. The potatoes didn't get as hot. The only thing that I liked is the cheese. Definitely didn't like the style of potatoes. So then moving on to the last item. I can't really feel the slices, so I'm curious. It smells good. It smells like brisket. I'm like scared I'm gonna drop this, but do you guys see that? It's good. It's a little bit salty for my liking. Oh. I feel like this time around, I was a bigger fan of like all the sides, like the Twistlers, the cranberries, the peanut butter and jelly, the bread, cranberry grape juice, the cappuccino. Am I missing something else? No, I feel like I got everything else. So I feel like I was a bigger fan of those than the potatoes and the brisket. Overall, I give this MRE a huge thumbs up. I'm already thinking about which MRE I'm going to be eating tomorrow. I don't know exactly what we're going to be having, but it just it needs to be different. So I will see you guys tomorrow. For today's MRE, we're going to be doing menu 8. I wanted to play it safe today just because I felt bad not eating the beef brisket yesterday. So this is a menu 8 meatballs and marinara sauce. I feel like you just can't go wrong with this. So let's get this one started. Let's just go ahead and do this in order. We have our Italian bread sticks. This is different. I haven't tried that before. We have our hot beverage bag. We have all of these that I never really use except for the gum. We have some instant coffee. Our napkins, I actually do use those. Creamer, salt, wet wipes, and Splenda. We have our MRE heater. We have, ooh, finally some jalapeno cheese Bread. I'm gonna try and do my best to get this in the heater with the rest of the food. Here we have some garlic mashed potatoes. That sounds good. We have our spoon. We have an oatmeal cookie. This is also different. We have our lemon lime base powder beverage. Also never tried this before. Wow, I'm actually excited. Oh my goodness. Teriyaki beef stick. Do you guys see that? I'm obsessed mashed potato ingredients we don't need this is part of the heater and then the main food which is marinara sauce with meatballs okay so that is one two three things that i have to try and fit in the heater the first thing that i'm going to put in is the marinara and meatballs obviously we want this to be the hottest and then the garlic and mashed potatoes we do have a little bit of room so I'm going to squeeze this in there. Give it a little rub and then we're going to put it in the cardboard. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. This is like the second time that I've done a good job on that. So let's go ahead and start opening everything out. The beef teriyaki stick. Oh my goodness. Our lemon lime beverage powder. Ooh, that's nice. I think this time around I'm gonna put everything. I usually put half of the powder. Okay, I was thinking this is gonna turn out yellow. It looks more green. A little lime green moment. You can still see the chunks. Our oatmeal cookie. Ooh, that's nice. And the Italian breadsticks. Curious to see how many there is in here. Ooh, okay. That's 
different so in case you guys were curious i wanted to tell you guys how long i leave the food in the heater for just because i asked my husband last night how long he usually leaves his food in the heater for and he said just about 15 minutes and that just gives him enough time to eat everything else like all the other snacks and that usually calms his hunger however since i'm just trying everything and taking small little bites i don't wait those 15 minutes so i leave it for just about 8 to 10 minutes and if you think about it this is a lot of food you have your coffee you have your powdered drink you have your teriyaki beef stick you have your oatmeal cookie you have your Italian breadsticks, you have your mashed potato, you have the meatball and marinara sauce, you have the gum, you have the cheese, like there's just so much. And probably the reason why I haven't gotten tired of these MREs. Um, so let me go ahead and try this lemon lime drink. It's good. I love lime, I love limon, I love agua de limon. I love paletas de limon, anything limon I love. So this is really good. The next thing that I'm gonna be trying is a teriyaki beef stick. It smells good. I mean, I like beef jerky. I think I'm gonna like this. Oh. This is such a huge thumbs up. I honestly prefer this over the Skittles and Twisters. Like this is just like such an amazing snack. The next thing that I'm trying is the oatmeal cookie. It smells delicious. It's hard. I kind of want to feel, no. I was going to say, I kind of want to get a bite out of the center, but it's just as hard. This with the coffee would be bomb. That's another thumbs up. Okay, and now for the bread. Obviously, I'm going to be trying this with the marinara sauce, but I'm just going to give that like maybe three more minutes. So I want to try this alone. It smells good. It honestly smells like pizza. It's good. Also, I've been saving all of these, all of the coffee, the salt, the wet wipes, the sugar, just in case, because I know they're going to come in handy someday. We're going to open this. Oh, that cheese spread I'm so excited for. The first thing that I'm going to try is the meatball in marinara sauce. It smells delicious. Oh my goodness, the meatballs are so freaking cute and tiny. And there's so many. There's like at least 20 in there. Look at this. The bag is hot, so I'm guessing everything is going to be hot. I got to wait until I bite into a meatball. Oh. I wouldn't say the meatballs are as hot as the sauce, but because the sauce is really hot, like it just levels it up. Oh my goodness, I could see my husband eating this so happily. You already know, I'm going to add the cheese. Mm. So I just put it all in there. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. This is delicious. This is delicious. So far, if I had to choose to eat an MRE all over again, this would be it. Okay, and last one is the garlic mashed potatoes. I love garlic mashed potatoes, but I, I'm like sketched out to eat this. Anyways, here we go. I also have a feeling that this is not going to be hot. I mean, the bag doesn't feel as hot. It's warm. It's closer to the colder side. I think I would give this like a four in how hot it got. Oh. Mm -hmm. This definitely would taste better if it was hotter. Okay, after thinking about all the MREs that I have had, menu eight meatballs in marinara sauce is definitely my favorite. It would be that instant coffee for the cappuccino that we had yesterday. Was it yesterday or like two days ago? That was fire let me know what you guys think about this video you guys i had so much fun it was different it took days to film obviously i think this has been the longest that it has taken me to put a video together and i thought it was really fun looking forward to the next mre it's kind of shocking to think that i didn't get tired of eating an mre every single day so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i do want to give out a shout out today's shout out goes out to mcfly shout out to you and if any one of you guys will also like a shout out all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed and comment anything your big heart desires i love you guys all i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you are not subscribed to join the ray family and i will see you guys soon bye guys